What's going on, everyone? It has been a minute, a month, actually, in fact, since my last upload. What I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to upload a separate video that's probably going to go up before this one, talking about, like, what exactly happened and why I had to stop doing the Barbell Brigade power building program. I might return to it eventually, maybe one day, but for now, I'm definitely taking a step back, and I'm going to do my own split, kind of, for a minute. I take one sip of water and I spill it all over my shirt. Fantastic. So a month ago, I kind of started a cut again, and I've been more consistent than I have been in the past, but still not 100%, which isn't like the end of the world when it comes to the beginning of a giant fat loss phase like this. Like if you're obese, right? You can kind of get away with changing a couple of habits at the beginning and still not like being 100% on point all the time. You can get away with that and you can still make progress. And that's what I've done. So a month ago, I was 289.6 pounds. I believe that was the heaviest that I had weighed ever. And this morning I woke up at 280 on the dot. It was kind of like the stars aligned because I'm ready to come back to the gym at around like maybe like 85, 90%, nothing crazy, right? But I'm ready to come back. I'm going to start a new program and I might talk about that at a different time. Getting a perfectly aligned number on the scale. It's just, it's kind of, uh, it's interesting. I'm trying to change a lot of things about myself. More so in just the fitness realm, but also in my life. Anyway, so basically uh, what I've done, of course, is uh, lose 10 pounds in one month, which is, you know, most people would consider that to be pretty reasonable, actually. That's kind of a good rate to lose 10 pounds in a month. Um, if you're a leaner person, for instance, and you're going from, say, a 20% body fat to 12% body fat, that's a pretty respectable amount of weight loss um, per week. I shouldn't complain, but I knew it could be better theoretically. Now, what have I been doing to achieve this? Well, basically, I've been, uh, very simply, really, increasing my activity level. I've been going for like a 30 to 40 minute walk relatively consistently for like the past two weeks. And that is what really took my weight down. I was very surprised to see that something that was very low intensity, not difficult whatsoever, but just moving, really jacked up my activity level to the point where I was starting to shed pounds. Of course, I've also been tracking my nutrition. Um, not 100% consistently, uh, but I would say the majority of the time I'm tracking. When I do track, I'm eating about 2,400 calories. The way that I've structured my day is essentially, I didn't do this on purpose, but it just so happened to be this way. Uh, essentially, I'm intermittent fasting. My first meal usually isn't until about noon, or even today it was it wasn't until about 1.30. I didn't eat until 1.30. And that's just the way that it just works out. It's not like I'm trying to do that. It's just the way that it works out. And I'm trying to go to bed before midnight. And, you know, it's just hard to, like, fit all that food, um, especially all that protein, because it's just sometimes it's, like, depending on the protein that you're eating, um, it's just so, so difficult to just eat all that fucking food. Um, and I know that's kind of crazy for me to say, but you got to keep in mind, like we're talking about, I'm eating like super lean meats. I'm like, I'm eating like really lean beef, like 96.4 ground turkey. That's pretty lean chicken breast, um, egg whites also, which I, I hate egg whites. Uh, it's kind of the point where I've been drinking them because I just, I can't stand the texture of them anymore. Uh, whole grains, um, you know, every now and again, I'll throw some beans in there. Uh, so it's like these foods that are like very satiating and the quantity that I'm eating them, sometimes they're tough to finish. Um, like I try to eat fish and like, I just, I, I, I can't, I can't, eat it because I'm just so used to, you know, everything melting in my mouth and fish takes forever to fucking chew. It's almost like to the point where I like chew it for like two and a half minutes straight and then I have to just swallow some water or something. I know I'm complaining about stuff that's like, you know, trivial. It's like, you know, if you're like a true, like, you know, healthy individual fitness guy, bodybuilder type, you're probably rolling your eyes, but you got to understand, like, there's a reason I got so fat. 
there's a reason I've like gained all this weight and you know it's like I, I'm just eating this food that is like very fatty so it's easy to consume it's not very high quality so it like breaks down really easy in your mouth and you don't have to chew or it's so delicious because it's extremely savory it's extremely sweet you know that I don't mind um you know if it's tough to eat even though usually those things are not tough to eat um and I can down them really really easy because it's like I I want to eat more of it whereas you know you put a plate of fucking cod in front of me and I'm like okay I'm trying I know I should stop being a bitch about it but I mean you know you have to unlearn the bitch you know what I'm saying it's tough now this is wildly more successful than any other cut that I've had in the last few years but I still am hesitant to call this a success just yet because I'm afraid that if I don't lose 15, which I think is the cutoff for me, is like, okay, now we're successful. Um, it still like has potential to backslide. So anyway, I'm going to hit the gym now. This is going to be my first real session in a while, and it's not even going to be that difficult because I'm going to reduce my loads to about 10% of what they should be. Probably talk about that a little bit later uh, just because this clip is already very long and I'm probably going to have to edit a lot of this down. So, uh, been kind of successful, so I guess I can't complain too much. See you guys later.